We can't even sit in peace Cause all of these niggas be on you Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well out there. Happy 2022! We're in a new year. That's what we like to see. Today, um, I'm just gonna do a cheeky get ready with me. I'm about to go take some content. So, I'm gonna do my makeup. And we're gonna be trying some new products. I've been looking at a few new foundations. I've been sent a few new bronzers. Um, and I just wanna see how they all like work together. So as you guys have seen, I'm seen for the first time as well. Um, everything I use, I'm gonna leave it in the description bar below. And let's just get into it. We have Escaped 2021. That B, who I'm not gonna say her name, is still with us. The C word, she's still with us. But we move nonetheless. Um, I really hope we are all good. Oh, I'm supposed to be filming TikToks as well. Let me let me do that now. I've never done a talk through, so I'm gonna do a talk through of doing my makeup. I'm using a bunch of new products today. Yeah, so I'm just glad to be out of 2021. And um, for me, 2021 was actually a really decent year. Like, I think it's one of the first years where I properly like planned things and um, had ideas about what I would like to do like in depth in a year. I think up until last year like everything would just move on as it's supposed to do like the same way as if you're moving through secondary school like you know from year three you're meant to go to year four you know from primary school you're going to go to secondary school you know after your sats you're going to do your gcs of e yeah that's that's how i'd always viewed life so i feel like yeah, last year was the first time in a long time where like i actually had to make decisions about my life um so i'm just going to use the milk Hydro Grip Primer, fantastic primer. If you men aren't using this primer, I don't know what you're doing. Um, it just helps my makeup stick really well. And it's mad affordable at that too. I think they've got a tester um, version too. If that's what you want to use. So we're just gonna put that all over. Cheeks, chin, nose. I especially like focus it on my areas where like I'm a bit, you know, oily. I don't think I really have oily skin anymore ever since I have um, been taking care of my skin in terms of like making sure it's moisturized and hydrated, my skin has become less oily. So also for my foundation today, um, oh, shout. I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup Foundation. I'm using the shade 7W1. So guys, funny story about this foundation, yeah? I actually bought this foundation when I was like 22, 22? Yeah, I was 22 when I bought this foundation, yeah? But the shade I was recommended was 6N1. I'm not neutral, yeah? And I didn't know much about makeup and undertones at this point. So I was wearing 6N1 and I was looking grey and I was thinking like, oh, it's a bit mad, you know, because I'm spent 30 something pound on this, and on this foundation and it's grey. And what's going on here, Jackie? So I actually went to go match myself. Sometimes I don't trust the people in the store because sometimes I don't know how to match you. So I took my foundations that I would normally use and I used that to help match me. Yeah. Um, yeah, so like I just wasn't used to like having to make mad decisions about my life. I know that sounds very silly considering I'm basically an adult at 25, but I felt like, I felt like last, prior to last year, things were just moving the way they ought to be moving for me. It was a really decent year, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of change happened last year. I tweeted about this on, I tweeted about this, where else other than Twitter. And I just kind of spoke about, briefly, very briefly in one tweet, about how some of the change was good, but also like some of the change made me feel really, really uncomfortable. I, I had a lot of change with people and that made me feel mad, uncomfortable, no, I need a pump for this, what the hell? Estee Lauder, no pump. Five pound pound foundation, no pump, yeah? I see how you man stay. You basically want us to finish the foundation so we can come back and buy more. I right, get okay. Capitalism. <laughs> so yeah, like people that had just been in my life for a long time or I had tolerated a lot from them just in general um, were just like, life happened and they just didn't get to be in my life anymore. And that made me feel, I don't know, weird, but like happy because like I had worked so hard on trying to maintain boundaries through the year that I just didn't this sounds like I'm lowballing myself but I just didn't expect myself to be able to maintain my boundaries when it actually came down to it that sounds so bad to see but yeah I was proud proud of myself proud of me 
No, I'm not mad at the foundation, guys. To that witch that matched me as a neutral tone. To that witch that matched matched me as a neutral tone. I don't want to say it shall not be well with you because it shall be well with you. <laughs> nah, no, this is that time. You see? Trust nobody but yourself. Yeah. I was matched with, and this is what I'm using now. Can you see how like a neutral that looks? No, she boiled it still. She actually boiled it for no reason. Anyway, we made it in the end. So like, more or less, like I'm proud of me in 2021, essentially because like I rose to the challenge and I tackled a lot of things that I thought like I would have trouble tackling in. So overall, like 2021 was actually a decent year. I made a lot of progress on other things, like personally, um, career-wise. Um, I haven't had a lot of like realizations about my own personal life, which was, about purpose that's like a really big one I was, like, right. I was not expecting to fill all of those things um so i'm gonna use no i'm not i'm gonna use two face chestnut and then i'm gonna layer it with estee lauder's double wear concealer in medium 4n this this combination for me works really really well dare i say even better than these two together which is um two face yeah so overall 2021 i'm just I'm happy with like how the year turned out. I'm not gonna lie, like I'm happy. I'm happy. Like sometimes your enemies want you to die, but when God says no, you know you're not finna die. You're not finna die. Like coming off the high of 2021, it's kind of weird that like now I'm in 2022. I feel I don't know. Like a sense of me wants to go just as hard as I went in 2021. Cause I remember when I entered 2021, I literally hit the ground running. And I guess like parts of my subconscious have attributed my success to how I started the year. So you can imagine like some of the anxiety and some of the, the zeal, I guess I had towards making sure I started the year right, making sure like I planned, making sure that from day one things are together. And I think that internal battle I'm having with myself, especially since we are still at the beginning of the year, is like knowing that if things don't go, yeah, see, I left it too long, but now look, I'm gonna have to add some more concealer to that. So yeah, obviously now, that was at the beginning of the year, I don't want to do that to myself. I think there is also success in building up momentum. And if anything, it's a relief or pressure on myself, you know? Like I, part of my, uh, I guess, part of my, part of my goal for this year, things I really want to work on is like being consistent with the gym, being consistent with like what I put in my body and like how I treat my body in terms of like what I choose to eat and like my hobbies. So I haven't actually started working out yet until the 6th of January. I'm not mad at that because like I'm currently just focusing on working on what I eat. So it's like one at a time. I'm that person that will absolutely overwhelm herself with things to work on and then be shocked when like I've fallen off the bandwagon. Yeah, babes, because you gave yourself too much to, to handle, you know, at once. Just cool down, okay? Your goals are not running away from you. So you don't need to try and fulfill them all in up to one. Because essentially, I know this sounds so cliche, but it is a marathon, not a sprint okay so you're not trying to get everything accomplished the goal isn't to get everything accomplished in the first month and then after that like your Gucci no that's not the way it works it's about starting off strong so you can finish strong and if that means like building your habits up yeah so what I know some people who are implementing their goals like one by one as in month by month don't introduce something new and for them that's just how they work because it means that then they can hit their goals easier and I am for I for one I'm not mad at that you know let's normalize having different approaches to how we attain our goals let's have different approaches to how we plan our lives you know it's not a one-size-fits-all is which is I think I'm learning like a lot I'm learning that heavily at the moment there's no such thing as a one-size-fits-all otherwise God would have just created us all to look the same but he ain't do that okay he made us all different he made us with different capabilities Contour next. Of course, we're using our matchsticks. These are old. I've used these before. 
yeah so that's essentially my approach to this year and for me that is even a signal of growth figuring out what works for me um just because maybe the mass population choose not to work that way doesn't mean that the way you choose to work is wrong shout out to my hormonal spot as well making a peep through at the beginning of the year rocking with me as always for the next 50 years <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I just got a lot. I have a lot of plans for this year. Like I have high hopes, um, more internal high hopes for myself than external. Um, my goals this year are about like developing more as a person, to be honest. And if I develop more as a person, that will actually show through in my external. Um, so I'm not so much fussed about what's going on in in the external, apart from one area of my life, which I'm talking to God about. So I'm excited to try my hardest to get through with these plans because Lord knows I'm trying to be a successful baby out here in these streets. Um, I got sent this magic setting powder from Julia's Place in the shade Kalahari, not Kalamari. You know when they've got that nice sticker that you have to peel off? Yeah. Ooh, it's giving yellow. Mmm. So I don't know. I don't like this. Oh, oh no, it's giving yellow. I don't know. Let's use a brush because I feel like using a black beat banner will be aggressive. Maybe too aggressive. Alright. Maybe. Maybe. Personally, me, I like to start off with a brush. That, to be honest, it depends on the setting powder. Like the Ken Beauty setting powder works best with a brush. Um, I've tried it a couple of times with um the beauty sponge it doesn't work as well um so i think you just need to see how it goes you know and so i guess this is a call to action for me from me to you guys to challenge yourself more than anything and challenge the status quo that you're within um i don't mean that in the social manager a social manner i mean more like your own personal status quo like what is your normality what part of your normality do you notice can experience can benefit from being challenged. There are some parts of our normality that we aren't comfortable with and I think we're not comfortable with on the inside but we're comfortable just like chilling it because it feels better just to chill there than to do something about it. So I'm challenging you to look at that and make some move towards, you know, shaking things up a bit. And we're just going to use the Juvia's Place bron bronze, the bronzy in deep dark i was sent this as well look at the colors i think it might be a little bit too dark for me but if i go like handed we can like make it work i'm just like encouraging you guys to challenge yourself um and challenge your status quo and challenge parts of your normality that you know can benefit from change you know, that whatever that means to you in it I know I'm doing that this year and change is supposed to be scary but as long as you have people supporting you in that change then you know it, it becomes more manageable at the very least. As well as challenging that like I also want to ask you guys to challenge your idea of the main character you know. I just personally don't like of course we are all main characters and we all have like parts of us that make us I guess stand out. Of course, no, there are parts of us that of course stand out. There are parts of us that are important that make us who we are. But um, I don't want us to get carried away so much so with the main character um, idea that we stop being, thinking about how we can probably be less selfish towards ourselves and, you know, help other people. I don't think it's a bad thing. I know sometimes society sees putting people before yourself as a, a negative trait, but me personally, I genuinely believe that we weren't made to be in isolation. Like, we're actually society. I know Margaret Thatcher said that there's no such thing as society, but there absolutely is. Like, if we think about this whole pandemic in and of itself, it genuinely relies on us being a community and working as a community in order to eradicate this thing. If people weren't just thinking about themselves, you know, if they have cool, I'm not gonna say the word, if they have that thing <laughs> and they're thinking about themselves and they're like, well, I'm just gonna go out. I don't care about everybody else. 
it, that right there is of course like an extreme negative manifestation of the main character syndrome but if we actually thought about how our actions and our our thoughts and the things we did actually impacted people a bit more i genuinely think we would be in a better place and um, because of the push of the main character syndrome i think people just go to that straight away and think about oh well like i need to take care of me i need to put me first lucius i gotta put me first yeah that's the era that we're in now. I'm just saying what I think, okay? And that's personally, I'm gonna try and be more generous this year with my time, with aspects of myself that I feel like I can be generous in. Of course, like, maintain your boundaries. That's very much important. I'm not saying open yourself. Let everybody take from you. Only ever put yourself first when you're in the line of death. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. I think we should think more about the people that we hold dear to ourselves, okay? Um, so I'm just gonna use this blush palette um, from Juvia's Place. It's the Blush de Rougie Volume 1 palette. You get two lovely colours in there. I'm gonna use this one today. I don't know what that colour is called, but I'm using this one. All in all, like, I'm just praying we have a prosperous year this year. And, like, we're just nice to ourselves. And that's actually my overall prayer point for myself. That we're nice to ourselves so yeah guys this is the finished look i love like the neutrality of it i like how simple this is how quickly i was able to get it done i just i like everything about it i'm actually not mad at it i'm loving the foundation i'm really interested to see how like the foundation changes with time but so far i'm not mad at it oh, what's happening to my voice anyway i'm wishing you guys the best year ever um praying for discipline and consistency i'm praying for all the good things all the good vibes all everything and i'm really excited to see where this year takes us and i'm really excited to see um i guess like the content that we can create on this space if you don't follow me on instagram i would suggest you do so if you don't follow me on tiktok i would suggest you do so if you haven't subscribed to this channel i suggest you do so and i will see you guys for another video very very soon bye